All right, so, so far we've talked about a variety of different groups. First, we talked about the hippies. Then we talked about the civil rights leaders. We talked about the anti-draft movement. The last movement that I want to talk to is kind of a generic group that, that I'm going to kind of lump some things together. They were known, generally speaking, as the peace movement. Now, several of the arguments, that there, were, there was a lot of, a number of protests that happened. A, a, a lot of these had happened on college campuses. Some of the major arguments that those in the peace movement had against the war was that the North Vietnamese were fighting against a foreign aggressor. And we actually were the foreign aggressor. We were the ones that brought troops into Vietnam and we were fighting. So from the perspective of the North Vietnamese, although they were communist, they were protecting their homeland and trying to kick a foreign country out of their country. Um, and when you look at it from that perspective, it really is quite a, a very different war. There was tremendous environmental destruction that was happening in Vietnam. What we were doing is we were, we were going through the jungles and to try to get rid of the jungles as a hiding place for the North Vietnamese communist fighters, we would spray it with, it was essentially a weed killer called Agent Orange. And it was destroying huge, huge amounts of the jungle, just killing all the vegetation. Vietnamese civilians were being killed in the crossfire. There were a lot of Vietnamese civilians that were not fighting, but they were the ones, they were the casualties of the war. They were not combatants, but, but hundreds of thousands of civilians were being killed in this war. Ho Chi Minh, who was our friend during World War II because he was fighting off the Japanese, because the Japanese were a foreign aggressor, he was fighting them off. He was our, our ally in, in World War II. Now, because he was a communist, he was our enemy. We were fighting against him. But in Vietnam, quite honestly, he was, he was quite popular because he was viewed as fighting for the Vietnamese people. That's who we were fighting against, a very, really, a, a person that had tremendous support in Vietnam. And of course, our American soldiers were being killed in huge, huge numbers. Now, let me back up to Ho Chi Minh. Not only was he very popular, but the South Vietnamese government, who we were supporting, were actually not that popular and they really weren't that democratic. They were a corrupt military regime. Um, and it was really, we were, we were not only having our troops on the ground, but the people we were supporting, the Vietnamese that we were supporting were, were bad guys. So we were on the wrong team, definitely. And it was a very expensive war um, that was taking a tremendous amount of money to fight. And the peace movement argued that that money could be spent on building social programs here in America where American citizens themselves would benefit. We could make a stronger country here at home rather than spending the money overseas. So in a nutshell, that is the peace movement who are involved with the anti-war movement here in the United States.